Once upon a time, Japanese cars used to be boring. Look at this. This is hardly boring. In fact, this is one of the most exuberant cars that you could buy in this segment. And it is coming to India. Lexus is going to bring the LC 500H to India by end of this year or early next year. The pricing will be a little bit in the stratosphere, around 1.8 crore rupees. And it will get a hybrid powertrain, a V6 engine mated to a hybrid powertrain. We are in the home of Lexus in Fukuoka in Japan to drive the LC 500H. The LC 500H is Lexus's flagship. Of course, if you ignore the LS 500, which is the luxury flagship, but this is a sports grand tourer, much in the mold of the AMG S63 and the BMW 8 series. But unlike those BMWs and Mercedes, the Lexus, it gets a V6 petrol engine mated to a hybrid transmission. And that means a total system output of 354 horsepower out of which 299 is via the engine, the rest via the hybrid drivetrain. And interestingly, this has a 10-speed gearbox. It is, of course, a very complicated 10-speed gearbox. But what you should know is that you got 10 speeds, out of which the 10th gear you only get after 100 kmph. It is quick, no two ways about it. Now, this is a large car, and to keep it all in check, it gets rear wheel steering. And that makes it feel quite nimble for its size. Nimble and agile. And that is in keeping with Japanese tradition. With this 10 speed gearbox, you could be shifting up, down, and you still have one, two, three extra gears. I'm now in third, you've got fourth, fifth, sixth. Now you go 7, 8, 9, 10, but then we're too slow for it to even engage. So you go down the box, you still have one more, you still have one more. And in the lower gears, in Sport Plus, it does sound quite powerful. The gearbox is a mix of a CVT as well as a normal torque converter. So at times you have this CVT effect, which is a little weird, takes some time getting used to. But of course, it also gives this performance. And in most situations, it always starts off in second gear because it's got so many gears in the box. Now, as you'd expect from the flagship Lexus, it is loaded with everything. You get drive mode controllers, rear wheel steering, like I mentioned. You get all sorts of luxury equipment, that fabulous Mark Levinson audio system. But also, you have these idiosyncrasies. The paddle shifters, for instance, feel a little too plasticky. The wiper stalks, that also feels a bit plasticky. So it's kind of like a mix and match, but overall, it does have an overwhelming impression of luxury. We're driving the LC around Shikano Island, which is just off Fukuoka. That's where Lexus has their main factory. But the LC, that is made at the Motomachi plant, which earlier used to make the LFA. And the LC is made by the Takumi, who are supposed to be these really highly super skilled technicians who actually assembled the LC. Right now, the LC is the flagship of the Lexus brand, follows in the footsteps of the LFA. The LFA, if you remember, had that wild V10 naturally aspirated engine. Of course, this is a V6 with a hybrid powertrain, but Lexus are really proud about what they've done with the LC. As for ride quality, you stick it in comfort mode and it is relaxed enough. The ride quality is not as plush as other Grand Tourers. This runs on 20-inch wheels and the versions that will come to India will be the LC 500 Edge Sport versions which get a carbon roof, deployable rear spoiler and big 20-inch wheels. On our roads, it is going to feel stiff. On the smooth Japanese roads, it feels stiff, especially the low speed ride quality. There is a certain unsettled motion to it. It does feel quite firm and tight, but that should deliver very good handling. We can't get up to very high speeds out here, so it'll be really wrong to tell you how it handles because really can't make out. But going by impressions, I think it will be quite good. It will carry a good amount of speed round corners. The LC 500H is going to come to India probably by the end of the year or early next year. Pricing, well, going by the LS's pricing and the LS and the LC are more or less on the same ballpark, expect around 1.8, 1.9 crore rupees, which is a lot of money. 
but then Lexus aren't really worried about volumes they want to build the brand they want to build a strong foundation for the brand and something like the LC 500 Edge it definitely goes a long way especially establishing some sporty credentials for Lexus because right now Lexus is all about luxury The LC looks cool and is also good to drive. Why would you buy it over its big rivals from AMG, BMW, M, even Porsche? Well, it has a unique Japanese-ness that is really hard to replicate in this category. As for the pricing, it puts it in the stratosphere, but then with the LC 500, you get something that really looks cool and is also really cool to drive.